Let's go through some of the 6x6 rust to center cases where we have, uh, we have 3 bars solved already and the last 4 pieces to form a bar are all over the top face. There are around 15 such cases and most of them are pretty easy. So let's, in this first part, we'll look at the easy cases first and in the second part, we'll look at the more complicated cases. And actually, that's for the reason that I can only set up six cases on two cubes, since those have six pairs of L2C, and I don't have any more six by sixes to set up different cases. So that's why this video is split into two parts. Anyway, let's get into it. So, for this case, what people would normally do is to just insert this partial bar. And then use a commutator to finish off the last oblique. So it'll be like this, and then commutator. However, notice that the last move of inserting the bar, which is a R wide prime, and the first move of the commutator, which is R wide, they'll cancel each other out, and the second last move will also cancel into a single move. So this executed with without the cancellation, it's like that. And executed with the cancellation, it will be more like that. So, for this case, it's pretty easy to recognize you have three pieces, and the last piece is opposite of the partial bar. So, let's look at another case. There are two cases where you have two two by one pairs on the top face, so like this one and this one. So they're both solved very similarly, and we just insert two pieces and use a commutator for the other two. So for this one, R U two R prime to insert these two, and then we cancel into our commutator to insert these two. R U two R prime, and then commutator. So with executed with a cancellation, it will look like this. So this case is solved in the same way. So insert these two, or if it's at this angle, we can insert these two instead. So insert, and then cancel into doing our commutator to finish off the last two pieces. So here are two more cases which are also very similar. So again, insert commutator. Insert commutator. And yeah, that covers all the easy cases. So in the next part, we'll move on to the more complicated cases like this one.